Greetings and salutations. How you doing? This video is a stress test for my new computer, which is a Dell Precision T5400 workstation. This will replace the Dell Precision T3500 workstation I have been using to make YouTube videos and as my main machine for quite some time. And those of you who have followed the channel will know that that machine got the name Big Boy. Well, Big Boy came up with a problem a couple of weeks ago. It started to throw errors at boot time. It wouldn't boot. And on these computers right here where you see the uh, headphone jack and the USB inputs there, right there, there is a, a cluster of numbers. And it was indicating that there was something wrong with the RAM in the machine. And I tried to track it down. I bought some more RAM. I changed the configuration. I did all kinds of crazy stuff. And it just kept getting progressively worse even though all the RAM chips tested out fine, every one of them. And I was told by experts that this was a motherboard issue and that I would have to replace the motherboard. And I thought, you know, it's an old machine. I'll just get something else that's been refurbished. I like the idea of running junk hardware. If you don't put too much into it, you don't expect too much out of it. And if it blows up, it blows up. So what I did was I got me a Dell T5400, which basically looks exactly the same. It's just a, a little bit more of an advanced model. And I got it on eBay, and I'm not ashamed to tell you the price. It was $300. But for my $300, let me show you what I got. <laughs> so I think this is actually really cool. So I have made HTOP unusually big in the terminal there. So if you're looking on a device with a small little... Uh, you know, screen, you'll be able to see this. Right now, we are using 13.8 gigabytes of 34.1 or 31.4 uh, gigabytes or 32 gigabytes, it's what it says. And you'll see that we have eight CPUs. Now, on the last machine, it said that I had eight CPUs, but actually, what I had was one Intel Xeon CPU and each core was multi-threaded to represent two. That's okay. What you're looking at here is two Xeon processors, each one with four cores, which gives me eight cores total, and no hyper-threading. This is just straight CPUs. What I thought I was gonna be able to do was to hyper-thread the two CPUs, and, and then we were gonna have 16 threads, but I can't do that. It's not in the bias. So I guess maybe this machine's a little bit different from the specs that I looked up, which is no big deal at all. Eight cores by themselves without being threads, you know, that's not an issue. Now, you're probably looking at this and going, dude, there's a lot of CPU activity. What do you have running on this machine? Well, let me go ahead and just give you an overview of the desktop that you're looking at here. We have a one, two, three, four, five, six virtual machines, each one of them set to have two gigabytes of memory with full video acceleration, 3D graphics, and 256 uh, megabytes of video memory setup, which is the max that you can do in VirtualBox and they're all running at the same time, plus I am capturing this video. So you can forgive the CPUs if they seem to be working hard. Uh, can't hear the fans running, the machine doesn't seem to care. So it's pretty much the same deal as the last computer I had. What I have done, let me go ahead and open up a regular terminal, and then I can show you some stuff here. So what I have done with this computer is just taken the hard drives, out of the old computer and put it in the new one and booted them up. And the hardware is similar enough that there was no issue whatsoever. Ubuntu just booted right up and it looked the same. Now, I was running the other machine that I was using off of a different drive. So this is when XBT came in very handy in that restore function. I actually just did a backup, restored it, turned that machine off, put the drives I wanted in that had the install on it and then restored the home directory and it was done. So in this machine, we have currently two hard drives. I've got a 64 gigabyte SanDisk SSD that has some swap space on it, and that's also the root. That's where the operating system is, and then you will see that we have a one terabyte home drive. That drive is a Caviar Black. 
the machine came with two 500 gigabyte drives in RAID 1, which in and of itself is okay. But when I opened up the machine and looked at them, they weren't matching drives, number one. And number two, they were kind of old. One of them was uh, an old Western Digital Green, and the other one was a uh, Toshiba Desk Star. They're fine drives. I will probably take them and check them out at some other time and may recycle them and put them to use somewhere else. But I feel better having an SSD and a Caviar Black in here. I've got a ton of these Caviar Black drives, so if this one dies, just stick another one in. So that works out really good. And then as far as the peripherals on the machine, it's got integrated sound, and it's got a NVIDIA 1700, Quattro 1700 card, which is a rather old card, but that's what shipped with the machine. It's the original card, and the nice thing about it is it has two... DVI outputs on it so I can have split monitors if I want to. Right now I can't do that because of space. I, I don't have enough room on my little work area to have two monitors sit on the desk, but sometime down the road I might do that. So that's, that's a nice thing to have. And instead of having to put another card in the machine, I can do that. That's uh, only 512 megabytes of memory in the card, but it, it seems to be doing what I need to do. The card that was in the other machine was a 570 which also was 512 megabytes of video memory they seem to perform about the same this one's maybe a little zippier but i don't know i haven't messed with the machine too much so far so yeah that's pretty much it this is the new going to be the new big boy and i'm just gonna like i said since i took the drives out and put it in the this machine guess what there you go uh, these are great machines to play with um they are awesome. The market seems to be flooded with them. I found a ton of them on eBay. I must say that I wasn't particularly thrilled with the, the seller that I bought this from because I, I had some questions that kind of little red flags that came up. Like I asked what kind of hard drives were in this computer and they couldn't tell me, which would make sense if they had just a ton of them. And the other thing I didn't like was is it, it says that it was refurbished but yet when I opened up the computer, there was some dust in there. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. And I was just wondering, well, if you refurbished it, that would mean that it would be cleaner than I found it in the machine. So I don't know what the deal is. The other thing that the seller did was they sent it with Ubuntu installed. I do not know what version because I didn't boot it off the drive. But there's a sticker on the side that says the uh, account that was set up is owner and the password is whatever, right? That's not how you ship Ubuntu on a computer. You do an OEM install. So I'm going to let them know that. And if they want me to help them to learn how to do that, I will. If not, whatever. But it was just kind of like, you know, when I ask questions and people don't know what it is, it, it kind of makes me go, eh, what's going on there? It's like the right hand doesn't know what the left hand is doing. However, the machine does seem to be functioning. It passes all the diagnostics. I did a full memory test, opened it up, made sure all the plugs are tight. Everything seems to be good to go, and it's rocking and rolling. It's not, the fans aren't spinning up. It's not going crazy. So it looks like this is going to be a good machine. So we'll get back to doing videos for like the last week and a half or so. I've been kind of in this limbo with a, a computer that very, work, didn't work very well. I mean, Ubuntu... This Ubuntu setup that I'm using right now to make this video, it just doesn't work really well <laughs> with only uh, two gigabytes of RAM. It's very slow. The only thing I could do was email. I could watch YouTube video, but it was very choppy. It was kind of weird. So, yeah, that was uh, what I was dealing with. And I'm kind of happy to get that resolved. And we will rock down the highway with this and see where it goes. So far, so good. Uh, the people who do follow us on Facebook, they already knew about this. A lot of people had some very positive suggestions, nice things to say. Thank you very much. I appreciate all of the feedback that I got there. So if you are coming across this, you don't know what this is all about, well, I have a little community. It's called Easy Linux, and it's people who use Linux every day at home and at work, and we do all kinds of stuff about Linux. If you'd like to learn more about it, you can join the discussion at Easy Talk. You can also uh, check out Easy Linux on the web. And if you are a Facebook user, you can give it a like on Facebook if you would. All of these links will be in the description to this video. And also check out freedompenguin.com for more about Linux. 
you can find contributions uh, from content providers such as myself at uh, freedompenguin.com. So thanks, gang. Thanks for hanging out with me and looking at the video. I know you geeks out there, you know, you like these sorts of things. Uh, it, it's a, this is a kind of a fun machine. It really is. So far, it did boot up. Still got to learn my way around, and we'll see how it goes over time and all that other kind of stuff. So there you go. But tons of them on eBay. I always tell people, hey, you know, I'm for running junk. I'm not. I'm not big on going out and dumping one, two, three, four, five thousand dollars into a computer if you if you can help it. First of all, I don't have that kind of money, and second of all. I think it's just more fun to have junky machines because <laughs> then you collect parts, you know. It's like the, the T3500 that's going out is going to be the parts monster. I'm going to have to take all the parts out of that someday and put them up. So in case something goes wrong, I'll put it right back in. I'm talking about stuff that you can unplug, you know. Anyway, I'm gone. <laughs>